Here you see the fluoroscopic picture of the canine stomach. The stomach can be divided into the gastric body and the antrum. The location of the pylorus and the duodenum are also indicated. The peristaltic waves of the antrum represent the gastric pump. The peristaltic waves originate at the gastric body and propagate towards the pylorus. When the peristaltic wave reaches the antrum, the constriction of the wave becomes deeper. At the antrum, three parts can be differentiated. A proximal antrum, a middle antrum, and a terminal antrum. When the peristaltic wave moves over the proximal antrum, chyme is propelled into the relaxing terminal antrum. This, therefore, is the propulsion phase. When the peristaltic wave moves over the middle of the antrum, the pylorus opens and small quantities of gastric chyme are swept into the duodenum. This is the emptying phase. During the contraction of the terminal antrum, the pylorus closes and the residues of chyme are forced retrograde into the relaxing mid-antrum. This is the retropulsion and grinding phase. In this way, peristaltic waves traveling over the antrum produce three phases. a propulsion phase, an emptying phase, and a retropulsion phase. These three cyclically recurring phases represent the antral pump. Propulsion, emptying, retropulsion. The three phases can be observed several times. As the constricting ring of the peristaltic wave seldom occludes the lumen during the emptying phase, chyme flows simultaneously retrograde into the relaxing proximal antrum. In this way, the emptying phase is associated with backflow and mixing of the luminal content. After a non-caloric viscous meal, marked constrictions of the antral waves cause rapid emptying associated with an intensive mixing of the gastric chyme. In the current video clip, cellulose gum was used to obtain a viscosity similar to that of ketchup.